what's going on collective welcome back to the channel gg here with another collective energy reading gonna see what's good within the collective this evening just a little heads up a little information gg had a second cup of go-go juice today so we're go-go juice activated right now um pray for me <laughs> and my heart <laughs> just kidding i hope you guys are doing well Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of my family. I love and appreciate you. Thank you for all the likes, all the sharing, all the comments, all the things. Got a couple of little announcements. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, all the, dis all the information will be down in the description box below. Please feel free to click on the link. It's the only way you can get a personal reading with me is through the link in the description. I'm only offering them through my website. It is the only way to verify and guarantee, excuse me, the only way to guarantee that it is me. It's at thewestwoodwitchco.com. Please, if you're interested, go down over there, check it out. If you're interested in the spirituality kit, uh, jam-packed full of all the spiritual protection and items that you need for your spiritual practices and your walk with the most high all of that's available down in the description through the links my emails down there as well if you are interested in just chit chatting with me okay uh so feel free to do that we are doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway guys we're really close we're very close um and we're i'm really excited because i cannot wait to do a live reading like that is going to be so much fun <laughs> So I'm really stoked about that, and I'm really stoked about giving you guys, uh, one of you guys, a spirituality kit. So I'm down for all that. If you are, check out all the stuff down below, do all the things, like, share, subscribe, and that's really it. Um, this is a collective energy reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does resonate, please place yourself in the reading where you belong. Flip it, switch it, reverse it, do what you got to do to place yourself exactly where you need to be, please and thank you. And let's just remember that Gigi is not a therapist, however, I am your friend, your bestie, if you will. We're here with messages from Spirit for you to communicate with energies. I got a whole lot going on that they got things to say to you. They probably don't got the balls to say it in the, you know, in the 3D. So they come to the GG with the aid of Archangel Gabriel and the Holy Spirit, of course, being protected by Arch Archangel Michael. We're here to figure out what's going on. So that's what I got. Let's do our timeline update. It is December 22nd, 2021. It is 4.52 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On the table today, we've got our Zodiac are describing cards, romance oracles, angels and ancestors, love and confusion, volume two, and time for healing. I'm channeling with amethyst and soda light today. That's really it. That's all I got. Let's just get into it. Let's see what's going on. I love being nosy. Let's find out what's going on in our collective today. Holy Spirit, please come down, protect and guide me as I channel this energy that's surrounding our collective. Archangel Gabriel, Please allow me to channel through you clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective. Archangel Michael, please allow me to be protected by your grace, as well as our collective this evening. Only allow heaven's white light to surround this reading and cast any darkness back to hell where it belongs. Please and thank you. I love and appreciate you all. Thank you. Okay. Oh, energy waves, energy waves. Ooh, energy waves. I don't know what's going on. I did my worship. Thank the spirit. The spirit. The Holy Spirit. And I didn't ask for no messages. I wanted to come in blank. I want the cards to talk to us today because I honestly, I just, I just feel like that. I don't know. That's just the way I need to be doing it right now. I don't really want to, I don't know. There's something just lingering about the energy that's surrounding us currently. Maybe it's because of the moon, what we're in right now, the residuals of that full moon in Gemini, having Venus in retrograde, whatever. There's just something awkward, a little uncomfortable, if you will. I know Archangel Michael always has my back and will not allow any darkness to linger too long without going pink, 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 back to hell with you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Spirit, what's going on with our collective, our growing collective this wonderful evening? We just had our winter solstice yesterday. Short, long, or shortest day of the entire year. Now we're going to get closer and closer to summer. Not that I'm looking forward to that fucking heat again. Ugh. God. 
but this Saturday's Christmas, guys. Exciting. Exciting. What's going on with our collective this joyous time of year? Holy Spirit, what is the zodiac energy? I feel like Jack Skellington. It's Christmas time! Somebody excited about Christmas? No. Okay, Divine Masculine's here. Why are you not excited about Christmas? You gotta deal with the sea witch? Yep. Well, that's your fault. You choosing to be with her. You make that cho you made that choice. And to sit there and trip about it is your own damn issue. Okay, like why are you tripping? Like you don't want to be around your sea witch. Why you be with them? Why are you going? Family values. No. Alright, well have fun in that family dynamic that you don't want to be in. What is the zodiac energy surrounding this reading? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Aries, God of War. Feeling fiery? Yeah, why? Envy and jealousy. For what? He'd much rather be doing something else. Libra. Libra. On the bottom of the deck, we got Saturn for Capricorn. Saturn for Capricorn. My little turtle. New friend here. Came from Mexico. A girlfriend of mine just got back and brought that for me. Isn't he cute? Anyway, he's my new little buddy. Can I come hang out with us? All right. All right. Let's figure out how many we got. Seven or eight cards, Spirit. Kind of, sort of. All right. Let's just see what the Holy Spirit's got to say about all this today. What are some describing? Thank you. We got fire. Eddie's Leo Sagittarius. Fire, fire. About spirit, please. Whoa, thank you. Oh, God. What's with all these people with the porn and the drugs? And we got a karmic drama queen. You don't go nowhere near that throne, woman. Get, get, get out of here with the, the drama. Get out of here with that drama. I mean, you do make for a good novella, so, you know, with the heavy drugs and the porn addicts. You know, it is what it is. Just another day in the collective. Please. Let's scoot you all down here just a little bit. Let's just... Somebody likes the pornography. Yeah, big time. Why? Because you can live out your fantasies without getting in trouble? Yeah. How long have you been with this person? Almost five years? Longer than that? Four years? Less than that? Four to five years? Yeah, four to five years. Almost like four and a half years. <clears throat> He's been with this person. Have you snoo snooed with anybody else? No, just playing around. Messing around. Being crazy. Were you doing stuff and during separations? Yeah, big time. Like, if he, they were in separation for any reason, like, split up, he was off shagging with everything that would have him. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. We got Earth. So we got Capricorn out here now twice, as well as Taurus Virgo. Aries out here twice. Libra. What else, Holy Spirit? What else? Police officer. Also police involvement on their way to something that involves a police officer. Military personnel and a biker. I'm also being told that it may not be a police officer. There could be something to do with security and a security officer. Some, somebody that works security, does bouncing, um, private security, <clears throat> different kinds of security for different kinds of events, all kinds of stuff. We've got veterans. Thank you for your service, as well as motorcycle enthusiasts. Perfect. We leave it there. We have a fitness lover. You want me to pull that one? No, take it back. No, you want me to leave it up? Okay. So we're going to just leave it like that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well... I'm hoping, I'm hoping that y'all are getting off, quit getting away from being the drama queens because you probably got involved with somebody like, or some, is somebody coming into somebody's life to help? 
Yeah, big time. Okay? Which is going to get people off the drugs and the alcohol and turn them into fitness lovers. Yeah, pretty much. Or bikers or whatever. Or they're going to get back into bike, being motorcycle enthusiasts and get away from all this shit. <clears throat> but there's going to be something about... there's It's a friend. A, a, like a best friend, soulmate friend. Uh-oh. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Well, oh boy. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody, um, yeah, we had a little toddler interference there for a second. My apologies. Now that should be settled and okay for now. Let's get back into it. Two nights in a row. That's crazy. Oh, the angels. Are... Which one do you want first, Spirit? Roman, angels and ancestors. Got it. Thank you. Both of them are giving me energy. All right, let's see what our angels and ancestors have to say. But there's something about this particular security person, this friend, this soulmate. There's something extraordinarily important. He's almost like a guardian angel. He loves his friends so much he would put his life on the line for them. being shown is he going to be well compensated oh big time he's going to be brought on as head of security for something and he's going to be well compensated he's going to be head of security for whatever empire this divine masculine and divine feminine are building or will be building why is that because somebody's going to be in the spotlight enough where it's warranted there's going to be a handful of people that are going to be in the spotlight where it's going to be warranted that they need private security. Because of the sea witches, jealousy, envy, I'm being shown paparazzi. There's going to be something, something that's going to happen that's going to warrant it. I'm being shown... A capture that leads to an imprisonment at possibly a... No, don't say that out loud. No, what should I say? Special event. It's going to be at a special event. A big special event. It's going to be televised possibly, sort of, kind of. It's going to be all over and it's going to be... There's going to be something about that happens at this special event that this particular person stops from happening catches in the midst something he's going to prove himself specifically in this particular situation and it's going to lead somebody into a big time imprisonment all right let's see one more shuffle now i can start okay here we go. What does the angels and ancestors have to say to us, spirit? What does the angels and ancestors have to say to us, spirit? Thank you. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Okay. Somebody's gut intuition knowing, gut instincts, their intuition is, is basically on high alert right now. Okay. Which is warranting this person to increase the relationship of this friendship. There's some kind of inner knowing, sacred knowledge that she has about two to three very, very serious situations. It's three. Three very important situations. The first one will not warrant anything other than visual evidence. The second one will not be, is it going to involve like serious tracking down? No, she's going to be humbled and on her knees. Yeah, she's basically going to surrender at that point once she realizes how embarrassed she is. And the third time is going to be excruciatingly serious. Possible with the ending up of life in jail. Okay? Yeah. So there's something about this inner knowing that somebody has that's warranting her or him. Excuse me. It could be anybody know it's a her. Yes. It's a female, a feminine friend that is very special to her. 
close-knit, very tight, know a lot about each other, have always been there for each other, very good friends. She wants to build on that relationship because she knows the two of them are destined to be in each other's lives for one very special reason. This man is like a guardian angel to this woman. Why? Because of the healing love that she has, the nurturing she has, and the connection that these two have. Oh yeah, big time. She knows how to talk to him, to get him to listen. They got a lot in common, big time. Always been very good friends. Trust your talents in changing times. And she trusts him. She knows because of this, because of the fact of whatever it is that, his, that involves maybe being security or a police or something, she trusts him with everything she has, her own life. She, hands her, she would hand him her life and say, please, will you protect me? And know that he will because it's basically like he's her guardian angel. And basically anybody that he loves, he is the guardian angel to those people. Okay? And she trusts him because of what she knows. And the thing is, is that this relationship is going to grow so substantially that this man will be held in high honor for forever. He will go down in history for what he does for these people because of how well known they're going to end up being because of this empire that's being built. Okay? If he is military, maybe military police, and he, he may end up getting a purple heart for something that he does, or if he, something maybe like some kind of medal of honor or some kind of something for what he's going to do in this life. Is it going to be big? Spirit saying yes, very big. Major recognition. I mean, possibly wait for important information. Yes, big time. What is the important? Does she have it already? Uh, it, there's going to be more. Yeah, big time. And it's going to slowly trickle in. And pe who, listen, people, I'm telling you, I will tell you until I'm blue in the face and that's perfectly fine by me. Get you a journal. Write it all down. Everything. Anything that you, if, if you got a memory like a goldfish like Gigi, write it all down. This book until the day it has got everything, if it's until the pages are done, and even then, I will probably always and forever have this book with me. Okay? Because of how important it is to have a sacred place to put all of it your thoughts, your dreams, your feelings, messages, all kinds of stuff. Okay? It's extraordinarily important, especially if you are dealing with gifts like mine. Okay? If you are somebody that gets messages, if you are a, an earth angel or an intuitive or whoever and you need it, please get a journal, start journaling and documenting everything that's important because there's messages spirit wants to tell you. There are messages your angels want to tell you, your spirit guides, your whole team on the 5D that's got your back. They got things they want to tell you, okay? Choose your path. It's been chosen. Yes, very much so. Is there being, is there graceful movement in action right now? One-sided, yes. On the other side, it's mm, very rocky. Very rocky, and there needs to be more grace and movement and action. And I'm being shown divine masculine. That's going to divine masculine, okay? Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. What I'm being shown. Oh, 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 can I sit? No, should just shut up about that one. Okay, somebody has some inner gifts, maybe a way about them that they've kind of repressed, is that a good way to say it? Okay, yes, I get the thumbs up. Something in them, inside, that's being repressed. This friend wants to bring it out of you. And it, once it comes out of you, that's going to make, oh my God, somebody's going to boss up even more because they go, mm, they're going to have their, oh, their confidence is going to be soaring. They're going to be looking good, smelling good. Everything about them, once this side comes out of them again, because it's being repressed. And repressing these feelings is and, and this part of you is 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 making you straight straight up crazy yeah big time oh damn so with that being said transform and unveil your gifts so basically get out of this repression stop repressing who you are uh unveil who you are and just enjoy and bask in the glow of who you actually are and be proud 
Don't hold back for no reason. Take charge with authority. Oh, you just... <laughs> I really want to... I can't talk about it. It sucks because this person wants to take authority. She wants to take charge and authority. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I really... I wish Spirit would give me the okay. Nope, I'm being told now. But somebody's going to... Oh, there's going to be... Mm-hmm. Folks, let it out. Don't hold back. Don't hold back because of... This. Why are you holding back? I'm being told to say it like this. Because of vanilla relationships. That's it. That's all I'm allowed to say. Is because of a choice to be in a vanilla relationship or because they were in a vanilla relationship for too long, it repressed a side of them that needs to come out with the big fucking time. What do we got here? Retreat and recharge. And once you retreat and recharge, show the world who you are. Don't hold back. Let them have it. Let them have it. Yes. Let it out. Don't hide yourself. Exchange energy to create abundance. And that's exactly what the soulmate friend is all about. And I mean, this is a high level soulmate friend that literally this person being in your life is just, there's a reason for it. Y'all are drawn to each other. Y'all are as close as y'all now. You think y'all are close now? Wait, just wait. You will literally be willing to take a bullet for this person and put your life on the line for them. Okay. And it's not just one person. I'm being shown four to six people that you would be feeling about this. You will be feeling like this about, excuse me. And the thing is, is that it's okay by you because of how much you love and how hard you love. So yes, we're already in this particular situation to exchange energy to create abundance. And the thing is, is it's not going to even feel like anything. It's not going to even feel like work. I can't even believe this. See your seed grow. See your seeds grow. Something in the spring happened. A conversation. This feminine and this friend had a conversation about her soulmate. High level soulmate only had eyes for him, wanted him, talked to him, talked to her friend, told him the story, told him the situation, and he w opened her eyes to something. Yeah, she didn't want to admit it. She didn't want to face the facts, but he was right. And in the end, he was right. And that's what kept, is that what opened your eyes to who he was? Kind of. She already knew that he was in her life for a reason. Not the reason she, she wasn't expecting it to be that reason, but that was the reason she, she started seeing it in that, in that particular moment that he actually gave a shit about her. Like he actually wanted to see her happy, I guess, because they've been friends a long time. Yeah, a long time. And he's telling her to stand her ground and don't let people walk all over you because if you want to be treated like a princess, then go towards people that want to treat you like a princess, not entrap you and enslave you and make you feel worthless. He's the one that opened her eyes to the real situation. Was she not being treated well? No, not at all. Was there somebody else that was treating her well? Mm, kind of. She, he was, he was, he's telling me, his energy's telling me. The one that was kind of treating her like a princess was showing more of what he wants to, he expects to see for his friend. He wants to see her treated like a princess because he's known her long enough to know she deserves it. He wants to treat her, he wants to treat women like that and he wants to see his friends be does he love her like that? Mm, maybe kind of sort of sort of kind of. If she gave you more of that kind of attention you would. Yeah, big time. But you know where you stand with her. Yes. And that's okay by you? Yes, why? Because the friendship means something to him. The friendship means something to him and he would rather have her as a friend than nothing at all because of what they've been through heartbreak toxic relationships more heartbreak more toxic relationships like the, the relationship they could go six months to a year and not say a word to each other but the second they do it's like nothing ever changed it's like nothing there was no amount of time between them like at all that's a really good friendship right there like, I know you got a life, you, I got a life, you got a life, and, like, things happen, but we know we love each other, and it's okay. What's that on the bottom? Unlock the magic within. She did in that moment. Yeah. He helped her see something 
that kind of unlocked the magic within her, kind of helped push her, push her into her awakening. Spirit saying yes, helped her push her into her awakening, was part of the final steps that got her to the point where she had her awakening. Well, we got protection guardian, drop your shield. He's saying, don't you dare drop your shield. Don't you dare drop your shield. You protect yourself in all things, especially your energy. Because there's energy vampires out there wanting me because I'm being shown Earth Angel. High Priest. Does she hold the masculine energy? Yes. High Priest, High Priestess, take it how it is. We all share masculine and feminine energy. Take it how it is for you. But there is a High Priest, High Priestess. Um, intend and create. She's a manifester. Um, and I just see something about the song Rush Rush by Paul Abdul is, is, um, is there something with that song? No, it's just, she's basically something that she's doing, or I mean, the work she's doing with spirits, helping her twin flame soulmate journey go rush, rush. Yeah. Spirits sing. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Bask in joy and light the summer. What about basking in joy and light in the summertime? Is it a future thing? Yes. I'm being shown a wedding, honeymoon, possibly in the spring or the summer. Could be something towards late spring, early summer. Possible honey, uh, honeymoon wedding situation, maybe in the mountains. I'm being shown a honeymoon possibly in the mountains. The engagement could possibly happen around the mountain, something like that. There's something that's something very big that's going to happen spring, summer, that's going to be see your seeds grow. Something that happened in the summertime. Yes, I'm being shown in July, early part of July. There's something there this, this in the summertime. That happened. That planted some seeds. That's going to take them into something very, very important, very special. I'm being shown engagement, wedding, marriage. That's going to take place the following spring from the summer. That whatever situation happened in July. I'm just being shown an intuitive message that could very well have saved somebody's life. And because of what this friend, this soulmate friend said to this feminine, put this whole thing into place. He's a huge key to this whole situation in so many different aspects. So many different aspects. He's literally coming in as her best friend and he's going to be introduced to so many different people that are just going to love and appreciate him and he's going to come out of his bubble and he gets to be his true authentic self and with that, will un basically, he will be granted the wings as a guardian angel. Actually, literally a legitimate earth. Is he an earth angel too? Yeah, big freaking time. Does he realize it? No, he's an empath. He knows he's an empath. Does he know much more? No, but he's going to soon. Yep. Okay. Druid, hold the space. Hold the space. What is it? Just stand your ground. Keep the peace in the space that you're in. Stand your ground. Don't let people walk all over you. Don't let people walk all over you. There's fire a third time. Ignite your passion. It comes back to that suppression. Somebody suppressing a side of themselves that needs to be released. That ignites their passion. That brings out their sexuality. That, that makes them feel sexy and badass. Like, there's just something about it. I just see something about it. It's going to ignite something in them. It's going to unleash. It's going to unleash a beast. Let go of the need to be right and be fearless and stand strong. Be the peacekeeper. You don't have to be right all the time. You don't have to be right all the time. You don't need to control everything with thinking you know everything. You're always right. All of that. Don't. Be a peacekeeper. Humble yourself. Get humble. Get humble real quick. Okay? Because there's something big that's going to happen. Big time. Somebody's going to step into their full, fully step into their power soon. Is it already happening? Oh, God, yes. Spirit saying, with the big time. With the big time. Somebody being fearless and standing strong. Somebody being a war. I am. That's three warriors on my table. I am a warrior. Yep. Yep. 
anything else from the angels and the ancestors? Whoa. Air guardian. We got air, fire. Do we have anything else out of here? No. Air, fire, earth. We just don't got no water. We got passion. We got truth. We got grounding effects. But where's the amount? Where's the passion? Or where's the emotion? Shift your perception. It's coming out of that repression. It's it, it stop repressing who you are. Stop repressing who you are because it's making you miserable. Stop it. Stop it. You're making yourself miserable. You gotta let it out. Yeah, you, you got it. You got it before you go cuckoo crazy. Okay? You ain't got to do shit. This is just GG's suggestion. I did say you got it because that's what I would do. If somebody says, GG, you got to do this because Spirit's telling me, oh, I'd be on it like five minutes ago. Yep. Mm hmm So shift your perception. Realize that vanilla is not your thing. And go be with somebody that, uh, that freaky like you, okay? Go do what you do. Be devoted and committed to who you are. And possibly go sage your space. Okay, because be devoted to who you are is going to allow your perception to be where it needs to be, get you into whatever high priest, high priestess situation you're in. And uh, yeah, so that way you can bask in the glow and the joy and the light of who you are. Allow that passion to come out of you. Because I mean, we got fire up here three times. Like, hmm? yeah. Trust in the unknown. Somebody already is. Yeah, big time. And it comes back to this soulmate. Does he trust in the unknown? Yeah. Does he want him to do more? Oh, big time. Is this? Is he going to? Yeah, big time. Once this feminine and him and all these other people unite, oh my goodness, the spiritual practices, the spiritual walk, these all these people are going to be doing. Oh, all the worshiping, all of the blessings, all of the everything. Thank the gratitude to spirit. Oh my goodness. This whole situation is going to shift this entire group of people's perception on, on the unknown. Is how spirit wants me to say that. This entire situation is going to shift people's perception of the unknown. And they'll be able to, at that point, move beyond ancestral patterns that they've been stuck in. And they'll be able to see the truth of the matter. Okay? Yes, they will. Because that's why there's so much truth. There's, that's why there's so much truth. And that's why there's so, there's so much passion. And there's something in between. And I'm being shown the most high God as the grounding effect, okay? Unleash the wild within, yeah, I'm telling you now, unleash the wild within you. Stop repressing it. Be that she-wolf, bay at the moon. Unleash your wild side. Go dance naked in the moonlight. Do Don your leather and flogger if you got, whatever it is you gotta do, go do it. You wanna dye your hair bright red and go wear pasties and a fucking thong to a rave with some big ass boots, do what you gotta do. <laughs> like, whatever you gotta do. Whatever makes you happy. Un find, ignite your passion Un stop with the repression unleash it unleash that wild person within you because that's what makes you you that's why you're so extraordinarily unique stop repressing it see from a higher perspective oh they gonna somebody already is and because that somebody already is the whole rest of this crew's gonna there's the water connect with your emotions yeah every single I'm being shown six very specific souls Six. I'm being shown four masculine and two females. Four masculine men and two females. Two couples and two outside, like two soulmate friend people that are brought in. Do they have other relationships? One of them's shaking his head, no, kind of. You're going to just have your little fun. Yeah, you're going to have your cake and eat it too because you're single and you want to stay single, yeah? Eh, eh. He just wants to just do whatever. He got too much. He got, he want to work. He want to make that money. He want to get that bag. He wants to do this. And what about you? You're just more interested in the group and your family, your family dynamic. And that's this, the group, this, these six people are this person's family. Or do you have other family? Yeah, kind of. But these people mean the world to you. Yeah. With the big time. And all of this will allow every single one of those six people to connect with their emotions shift their perception into trusting in the unknown and seeing everything from a higher perspective because magic does exist being a high priest is a real thing being a high priestess is a real thing being an earth angel is a real thing reading this stuff and being an energy worker is real and people are going to realize that and recognize that when they start being fearless and stand strong in their power and watch them seeds that they've planted grow and letting go of the, the need to be right, control issues and all of that will open these people up, getting rid of any delusions, any deceptions, any deceptive mindsets, any of that. 
It's all going to be released. It's all of it. Whoa. Guardian. What did I just say about him? This man is legitimately going to be the guardian angels of these five. There's this, including himself. Well, besides himself, five other souls. And he, he's never going to let them alone, especially because he's, he's not only their friend, he's also the head of the security that is, that like basically protects this empire. Like any events, any, like literally he walks side by side with the divine masculine, divine feminine. He is their personal guardian angel, friend, guardian angel. It's like, he don't need to be nowhere else. That's where he wants to be. He feels fulfilled in everything he wants within that group of people. He may even leave. Does he live in the same house? Yes. He lives in the same house. Do they all? Kind of. It's like a fucking compound. Anyway, but this particular soulmate is, it resides in the same house as divine masculine, divine feminine, because he's in charge of their protection. He is their guardian angel and he will never leave them alone. And I'm telling you, there's something very special about what's going to happen for you guys because of him. Is he going to be around to see? Oh yeah. He's not going to leave their side. He's going to live to be a ripe old age. So don't worry nothing about that, but he will be protecting people's lives and he will go down in history as this, this particular cruise guardian angel. It's going to be known all over the place. He's going to be remembered for something very important, very important. He is very loved. Even now, before it all happens, if it, time's fluid, take it how it is for you. He's loved now by his friend, his, the Divine Feminine. He's loved by her big time. Does she know? Yeah. Damn hippie. <laughs> Why do you say that? Too much emotion. Aw, you don't want to feel it. Eh, whatever. But he likes to bust chops. Okay. So he's got a personality. He's funny. He's got a good sense of humor. And he's kind, he's gentle, and he's loving. I'm going to leave that there because it seems very fitting. Thank you very much, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Title down. Anything else from the angels and ancestors? Aww. I can kind of talk about that spirit. Yes. Okay. He gets hurt on the job. Is that a good way to say it? Okay. He gets hurt on the job. Was he working? Eh, but he's because he lives with them, he's always on duty. He saw something, protected his 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 guard. The people he was guarding, he protected them. He got injured. And that divine feminine wouldn't eat. They were pulling her back. She went straight for him. Did she get hurt? No, not at all. But she protected him and saved him. Oh, is she going crazy? Her arms are flaring. Somebody's literally holding. I see a massive man beast picked her up by the waist and she's like fucking going crazy. Like, let me at her. Let me at her. I'm going to kill her my damn self. Let me at her. And she, he, they, the police are there. Somebody's getting put on a stretcher and put into the ambulance. And finally this man beast puts her down and she goes straight into the ambulance. I guess the, whoever injured him is already in a cop car locked up. Yep. That's why you let her out. <laughs> let her go. 
he wasn't going to let her go after her because he wanted the police to take her down. But she went right into that ambulance with him and went. He, she had his hand in her hand and he would not even leave in his side. I see like one other person. There's like a whole crew of them. Like the whole freaking back of the ambulance is packed with people like not leaving his side. What is that? A seer. Somebody saw it coming. Prepared everybody. We might have, well, she, high priest, high priestess. Wouldn't surprise me if somebody was a seer. Probably saw the whole damn thing coming. Trusted their instincts and that's why he was there. And now because they trusted, now they get to thrive. This person goes to jail. Possibly a sea witch for going cuckoo fucking crazy because jealousy and envy and freaking greed and uh, hurt somebody really bad. Could have possibly very well if it wasn't because of the spiritual protection of the Holy Spirit and because of who this person was. No, the Holy Spirit knew he didn't deserve to die in that moment and he had a whole lot more work to do. That's why she in jail, possibly for life, for attempted murder and all the things. But he gets to live a long and happy life, abundantly rewarded for his his, for standing his post, doing the right thing that he was put here to do. He will be abundantly rewarded. I'm talking a six-figure income yearly. Follow the voice of your soul. Yeah, and that's what's going to protect these people is because they're going to listen to the voice of their soul. No, just of one, the high priestess. There she is. The seer. See beyond the current situation she did, and that's probably why his life was saved. Was the police already on, on their way? Yeah. I guess he was he radioed it in when he saw what was the start of the whole situation. And by the time it all went down, the police were already there within two to three minutes. They were on fucking point, probably because of who they are, where they live, and the whole spiel. They got there with the quickness, just in the fucking nick of time, I'm being told. Any a one second later he probably would have been in a lot worse of a fucking situation. Grow, enjoy growth, growth and reap the rewards. Yes, it's because of spiritual growth, like I was saying. People proving themselves to the most high, standing in their, in their honor and their, their dignity and having pride in who they are and standing true to their promises and, and being respectful and trusting the higher forces and being grateful to the higher forces, especially for gifts that very well could be like this. Okay. Whomever it may be. It's just one. I'm being shown because it, I'm being shown a female, but I'm being shown masculine energy. She may have masculine energy that rules her. Yeah, big time. And um, high priest, high priestess, seer, very, very gifted earth angel. Okay. Very, very gifted earth angel. hunter track down your fears and desires well see the thing is is because of her fears and the desire to take care of and love her people she tracked it down and how did she track it down with her intuition and her intuitive knowing and having spirit guide her okay because of all of that she was able to save relationships and lives One, two, three, four. I'm being shown with this person doing what she did. She saved upwards of four souls. I'm being, can I say this out loud? Okay. Her own? Well, of course her own. Her mother's? Her soulmates? Two of her soulmates. And her best friend. She saved countless relationships. Prayed over people. Prayed for people that could very well have saved marriages. People being taken away from their parents. People ruining their relationships with their daughters. Their sons. People that may have... She may have touched people's lives in a way where they may... may she may have... Just one random act of kindness may have saved somebody from doing something that could have gotten them in jail for stealing. Whatever. It's because of this woman's want to change and the want to track down the fears of the unknown and, and release all of that to the Most High and, try, and, and d chase her desires and wants and her, the things she wants to succeed in the life. She is literally, she's literally saving lives 
and becoming abundantly rewarded for it in different ways. She's going to touch a lot of people. There's the, there she is. Come, come. I'm going to put you in between these guys because, you know, you're their, you're their guardian angel and we have divine feminine, divine masculine. I've got goosebumps. Can you guys tell? I've got energy coming right through me, man. Oh my God. This is a very, very special reading. Feel loved and comforted just being around this person. Every Do, do they all know? Yeah. I see a, her female best friend. Yeah, with the big time. Just She just wants to lay on her chest and hug her. They just want to hold her. They just it, She radiates like Mother Nature, like Mother Earth. They just, they flock to her because they know being around her brings them joy and light and love. She's funny and caring and kind. Silly and goofy and knows how to get down and have a good time. She's not malicious or vindictive or deceptive in any way. She just wants truth, friendship, and love. And with that, people feel loved and comforted because of her. And that's why this soulmate friend, that's the guardian angel. We're going to call you friend, gar the guardian angel. The guardian angel, yes, you. That is why you love her so much. It's because there's something about her that nurtures a side of you that, that needs to be nurtured. Move in a new direction. They all are because of her. They all are specifically being shown the words divine masculine. Her twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine, like my masculine has the feminine energy. Take it how it is, flip it, switch it, reverse it. Y'all know how it is, okay? And they're all moving in a new direction because of this earth angel amongst a large number of people. Like her, her existence... And her spiritual awakening is shifting things. And she's got a great teacher. She's got a great teacher. And that great teacher is the Holy Spirit. And the reason she's learning so well from the Holy Spirit is because she's learning from the spiritual experiences he's putting her through. And because she is so open and so obedient to him, she's literally walking so many people that could have very well just stayed exactly where they are in perfect harmony with what they felt was the perfect life for them. But because of who she is and her interaction with people and how she's able to communicate and how she, the rapport she has with people, people that could very well have been like, nah, that shit don't exist. Nah, but she proved it to him. She proved it to him and said, look, I am a high priestess, earth angel, seer, we saw intuitive, intuitive things in here too. All of the things, okay? She's a warrior because of that. I'm being shown one, insp oh man, what does this masculine have to do with her? He's her partner? Yes. Okay, so he's, so there's two couples. We have divine masculine, divine feminine. This other female is her best friend, female friend, right? For all intent, yes, this, the, everybody in this group is all best of friends, but this female, it's her spouse. Yes. What about him? That relationship there is the biggest one of all. Is that what you're saying? Female soulmate? Yes. Why? He hated her, huh? And not necessarily hated her, but she, he thought she was delusional. Yes. And kind of shallow. No, kind of what? Kind of just not what he wanted to be around. Yeah, just wasn't fitting in with what he wanted. Why? Kind of intimidated? No, just too much masculine energy between the two of them. Even though she's a female, he's a male. Too much dominant energy. But what about what changed? He saw her for who she was. Yes, she's not just delusional. No, good person, kind heart. Yes best of intentions yes just wants to love and be loved yes just got to see her in a whole new light a whole new light very very much a different person than what he knew yeah big time is it because of something specific yes a little bit that's the start of it yeah there was something that she did or said something that helped that helped open his eyes to who she was and that was just the very start of it but because of all of this because of all of this, that relationship there, dream and journey, that's crazy. Can I say that? Yes. It's crazy that it says drum because I see this man at a DJ booth like he's 
dropping beats like drum and bass, progressive house, that sort of thing, and she's singing. So she, he's her DJ. She, he drops the beats for her to sing or whatever. I also see another male, that man beast that pulled her from beating the shit out of somebody that hurt her friend. Yeah, that man beast, I see him spitting flows, man, like hard. The three of them make music together. That is their dream, and that's the journey that they're on. on. Surround yourself with protective energy. And that's that guardian angel, that friend, yeah. All he has to do is just be there and he, being an empath, he knows. Like there's just something about his empath abilities and why he was given these particular gifts is because of what he was put here to do, to be the guardian angel for these people. He already is doing it. He's already doing it. He just doesn't realize why he was put here to do that, why it's so important to him. He has no idea. But there's something that's going to come out that he needs to understand. It's going to be a spiritual experience. Has he already had it? Yes. Does it need to happen again? No, it needs, he just needs to get away from the toxic to allow it, the, it to happen. Once he gets away from the toxic, do it again. Okay, there's been two spiritual experiences that this particular guardian angel soulmate friend has gone through that he needs to go through again. But before he goes through it again, he needs to get rid of the toxic energy around him and be completely done with it. Period. End of story. And that way, the effects of these spiritual experiences will last. That will open him up to new and important things because it's coming time. It's going to happen very soon. It's going to happen very soon. People are going to be given abundance and different things that are going to help put them on the path to where they need to be. I'm being shown within six to seven months of a twin flame union activated. There's going to be one, two, two main people out of this group of six that are going to be abundantly rewarded for something. What about the other two? kind of sort of it's going to open up things empires are going to start coming together contracts and all of the things make sure you're reading everything business savvy oh you are yeah and that one yeah oh yeah big time he's not no, neither one of you two fem uh, soulmate female friend masculine uh soulmate friend person dj chicka, chicka, chicka. <laughs> you two yes you two are very business savvy yes big big time not gonna let nothing no wool coming over nobody's eyes for nobody all the things we got lawyer friends we got all the things yeah there's the, make a plan make plans and focus she'll make get your guard up don't read all the things don't let nobody pull no wool over your eyes yep make plans and focus because this is a big dream that y'all want Set your sights higher. Yes, set your sights higher. I see you reaching for them fucking stars. I see y'all being superstars. I see paparazzi around you. I see you chick -chick -chick on the DJ booth. You singing your ah, heart out and you spin them flows like, get it, get it, get it. What are you doing, sweetheart? You dancing, having a good time, just enjoying the, oh, you, you're the artist. You're the artist for the whole thing. Yeah, costumes, lighting options, backgrounds, drops, paintings, and all the things, anything that could be done artistic-wise, this female does. What is Divine Feminine doing? Ah! <laughs> and then we got Mr. DJ over here. We got Divine Feminine. Who are you? We're just going to call you Man Beast that can spit some sick flows. Yeah. Grow within your current situation. And that just goes for all of you. Grow in your current situation because y'all about to be on board with something huge. Like, get away from from the stupid get away from the heavy drugs and the porn addictions okay if it don't come from the earth don't put it in your body don't do it it's just not for the best interest of anybody white witch be the light yes oh don't be the light oh they are they're this whole group this whole empire that's being built is literally going to shine like a beacon of light think the light the the what is it the fucking the luxor in Vegas, you know that light that shines out of that pyramid? Yeah, be that light that just shines over the world and just come to the world and show them who you are. Are you? Do you talk about who you are? Oh yeah, big time. Divine Feminine is the face of the whole thing. Between her and the DJ, those two are the face of the whole damn operation. They glamorous as fuck. Look at you. Yes, boo. My friend got 40 inch hair. Yes, bitches love to stare. You looking great with that derriere. <laughs> Sorry, 
Yeah, you two looking, you look bossed up. And what about Divine Masculine? Oh, he just off in the, the background, like, putting his hands up, like, I'm just here for the marketing and the online shit. <laughs> like, I am just here for moral support. No, you got more into it than that, right? Yeah? No, you just there to just, I see marketing and networking. Possible online stuff, like possibly building websites and things like that. But he just wants to be off into the back burner and just be the supporter. Possibly financial investments. Just there, like, just, he, he's her divine masculine to the divine feminine. He's going to be a part of it, kind of like silent and in the background but he's really a big part of it but really not in the face of it he doesn't want to be in the spotlight he's leaving that to divine feminine and mr dj yep yep trust in the higher forces oh they are that's why they're going to be so abundantly rewarded that's right y'all are going to be i can't even listen don't forget the gg now don't forget the gg <laughs> you know don't forget the gg at least just, just, you know, when you sing in your heart out, female, just, just, just throw me a shout out. That's all I want. Just throw me a shout out that I, you know, maybe I helped you a little bit. I don't know. Just don't forget the Gigi. <laughs> just throw out my name. That's all I want. Just a little love. The sun. Enjoy success and happiness. They sure will. We got a, the sun. The sun. They all glowing like the fucking sun. Maybe a Leo. Hell, I'll take the, this one. I'll be happy to be a part of. Yep. Enjoy success and happiness. This whole fucking crew will be nothing but successful and happy any kind of pit, pitter patter of annoyance is just going to be that pitter patter y'all have a little disagreement y'all sit down smoke a blunt talk it out have fun y'all are artists y'all are creative y'all got you know the artist you know mindsets personalities y'all can be temperamental and that's all right i'm an artist too i understand it happens but y'all are human beings okay y'all are human beings Y'all aren't dr karmic drama queens. Nobody is. The only karmic drama queen is a sea witch that's going to end up in life in jail if she tries anything fucking stupid. Tries to hurt a freaking guardian angel that's protecting a high priest, high priestess. Like, good fucking luck, woman. Good fucking luck. You, the drama queen, not about to go down. You, maybe you need to stay off the fucking heavy drugs, karmic sea witch. Mm-hmm. Before you fuck with somebody that uh, literally... Is that, you, you, do you not see this? Do we do we see that? Yes. Karmic C, which I know you're watching because you stalk. We already know. All these bitches fucking like to stalk around the, the collective on all the channels. Like, I, psh, we all know how it is, these bitches. Anyway, you messing with the high priestess, high priest that's protected not only by the most high God in the all over the places, but they literally the most high trust and thrive. We're seeing that again. The Most High gave these divine people a actual guardian angel on the 3D. Like this guardian angel is in a physical body here with the high priest, high priestess to protect them in the 3D alongside with the Holy Spirit. And no karmic drama queen, heavy drug abuser is going to do anything about that. Because the divine has this destiny for these people because they obedient, they trust in the most high, or at least one of them does, and is bringing everybody else that needs to be with her to do this into play. I feel like a game of Magic the Gathering, almost. People are coming into play. Anybody else get down with D&D? Yep. New characters are being added in. These are lifelong friends. What is this? Autumn. Release the old and reset. That's exactly what it is. Release these karmic drama queens. They can drama queens can be a masculine or a female. Okay, a man or a female. So yeah, release all that shit. And shift your perception. Get away from the heavy drugs. Get away from the porn. Turn into a fitness lover and uh, grow up. Because you, I, I really, this woman, I'm seeing on my in my head. This female, she a fucking toxic bitch, and she crazy. Like, she literally is a very childish person that should not be able to... Can I say it? Okay. This particular soulmate, excuse me, karmic sea witch, she don't even deserve the title as any kind of karmic any soulmate anything. No. She's a sea witch. Yes. This person is so mentally unstable and childish that she should never be allowed to conceal or carry a firearm. And if anybody allows this woman to have any kind of firearm, they are out of their fucking minds too and should be put away for life for giving this woman a, a, a firearm, okay? Now, I have had, I have had, since I was 12 years old, I have known fire safety. It's 
since i was twelve that's twenty four years of fires a firearm safety plus two and a half almost three years in the military ok as armed security for the captain of my ship on the quarter deck for the captain the officers quarter deck ok stood guard m sixties fifty cals m sixteens shotguns twelve gauge shotguns nine millimeters constantly with a nine millimeter on my hip so yes i know all about fire safety i fucking hate guns don't even have one in the house don't want one don't need one because if you're gonna kill me you better fucking make sure i'm down all the way because if i gotta get up oh lord help you yep but this broad needs to never be given a, a firearm at all like i don't care Mm-mm. you crazy in the cuckoo bananas Mm-mm. you need to go seek some serious therapy because what i see this girl doing because of jealousy and envy because of jealousy and envy of divine feminine she may very well try to kill somebody literally and it ain't going to be right away could possibly be a few years down the line between five and seven years down the line because of things that happened to her that she needed to learn lessons for losing businesses ending up out on the street losing family losing friends possibly losing custody over kids nobody wants to be with her she went from having this glamorous lifestyle to being poor on the streets possibly as a drug addict i'm being stone heavy meth user addicted to meth heavy heavy attached to divine masculine yep Attached to the divine masculine do you ever help her again after the separation no not at all does she try to contact you yes does divine feminine find out no why because you block it and send it and all of that does she know yeah she knows she's an intuitive she knows and she questions it and she talks about it and you're not going to be able to get away with hiding it so yeah you might as well just come clean about it and never hide anything because she'll know i mean remember who you are these three people are so connected it's ridiculous these three it's ridiculous it's, it's not in a good way in a very 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 good way pay attention to the red flags what was i just saying this divine feminine thing you ain't pulling the wool over nobody's eyes masculine or karmic sea witch none of these people are going to allow any red flags to happen i mean i literally see that this has all like i literally see this incident where this guardian angel gets injured and the divine feminine literally is being held back by a man beast that can spit some serious fucking flows he's and she's fucking find me at her i'm a killer i'm killing my damn self like i like the police are looking and laughing almost and he's <laughs> and people are yeah she's paying attention she connected with the most high god like there ain't nothing nobody's gonna fucking pull over on this one not not no fucking karmic drama queen not masculine no friends no nothing she pays attention to the the freaking red flags which is why she is where she is now about to take over the world and be a superstar yes be a superstar that's what yeah she can't she no deception she ain't gonna let no deception take her she's not gonna let no deception take her family her friends or her divine masculine especially no karma drama queen because they they harness the mystic powers and intent and create and because of this guardian angel nothing nothing but the most high is going to get through it nothing no deception or red flags that are being thrown because people are going to be pre-warned premeditated the whole thing is going to be known it's like it, it, it hasn't happened in like five years it's like five years from today it could be happening and they already know they know the whole plan when you're going to be there how you're going to be there what you're going to be looking like all that the police are going to be sitting on standby five minutes down the road like people already know you can't pull the wool over nobody's eyes okay whoa i'm being honeymoon and release your ex there's going to be like a pre-wedding honeymoon where an engagement happens no just a pre-wedding vacation that's going to happen that's going to lead to him releasing this karmic drama queen yeah big time somebody rubbing a belly is she pregnant are you going to get divine feminine pregnant yeah buddy oh yeah and that way he can release this karmic drama queen because he will know the baby's his he will never have to second guess it he will know all the things his spiritual awakening will happen on this honeymoon 
it's going to be a tantric connection that's going to open his fucking eyes. And I'll haul. I see him crying. I see the emotion. I mean, literally. Okay, let me explain this. Let me get my crystals. Let me, let me explain what I'm seeing. They've, okay, what happened? They got engaged. They had a conversation. Okay, this is stemming off the other readings I've been doing all week. Okay. So they get engaged. They go and deal with Karmic Sea Witch. Yes. Okay. What else? After all that's said and done, they clear out all of that. You guys go on a honeymoon, like a, a little romantic getaway. Yes. And then what happens? That first night, they're in bed and he's cuddling and canoodling all this, you know, all the loving, tantric lovings. And the second he enters her body and that connection happens, like I just see him collapsing all his weight on her chest and his face is buried in his chest and he's just laying there with her crying and sobbing and she's holding him and cuddling him and loving him and whispering in his ears, I love you very much. It's okay. I'm here now. Nothing will ever take you away from me again. I will never let anything happen to you. It's going to be okay. Let it out. And it's just that in that moment, that, that, that just that connection, just the joint, that union, that sexual union, that tantric union there awakened him like he's never, he never thought could happen. He never thought he could be awakened to life and reality in, like this. Like the man is literally sobbing. She, she's just, is she, she's like kind of giggling, like, I'm not, I'm not laughing at you, but I know what you're going through. I understand. He's like, no, you don't. And she's like, remember, I'm an empath. <laughs> Can't tell you exactly what you're feeling, but I can understand you. And I'm giggling because I I feel the same way. I just, I, I need to be here for you right now. So I don't get to be like this. This is your, your moment to feel it and connect and see God in, in life. He's like, yes. Yes, I see it. I see it. He's showing me, what, he's, his energy is showing me what's going on in his head. And it's exactly the same thing I saw in my mind. I'm going to give you a moment of testimony. I'll be real with you. The first time I ever took psilocybin, I had a spiritual moment where I, I just, I literally was with a friend and I told this friend, I'm like, I need to go take a shower. And I just, I turned the water on. She was in there with me and not in the shower, but she was in the room with me. And she's like, are you going in with your clothes on? I'm like, yep. And I walked right in and I stood under the water and I was there for like 10 or 15 minutes. And I just let the water hit me and I just, everything washed away. And I saw the same exact thing. And it was a light, a figure, but the light was so bright. And it's the hand, it looked like the hands were out like this, like welcoming you in for a hug. And I believe that was the Holy Spirit opening my eyes to the reality of the five, the fifth dimension. I'm also connected with the fourth dimension, being able to communicate with animals in a sense. So that was in that moment was my eye opening to the spiritual realm. And in the moment that this masculine interacts tantric and with tantric sex with this woman, I mean, the first time they're intimate, the moment he enters her body, it's going to happen. And it's, there's, is there going to be any intoxicants? Maybe some cannabis, maybe. And it's going to be, he's going to, his eyes are going to be opened. His mind is going to be opened. His third eye is going to be open. There's going to be so much opening and he's going to be the, the figure of God is going to come to him in a light form where he, because you can't see God. He's too holy and pure for our eyes to see in this realm. So he, he the figure of, of the Holy Spirit in a blazing white light, opening the, his arms to welcome him into his, to his bosom and welcome him into his divinity welcoming him back to his divinity in that moment. And in that moment, the detox of anything that needs to happen for this masculine, possibly from heavy drugs and porn addictions, whatever else, it's going to be gone. There may be some moments in his detox that may very well be rough, but because of that woman who's holding him and nurturing him like Mother Earth, like we saw... Yeah, because of her, it's not even going to phase him in any sense because all he has to do is say, I need you. And they will be laying right there with even if it just means him laying on her chest and crying or being intimate or whatever he needs in that moment. She will know because you know who they are, okay? She'll know. She will know in that moment. And she won't even need to, because 
she could very well be an empath as well. Oh, yeah, she's an empath. She did say that anyway. But the fact of the matter is, is she's just going to know every single time he needs her for, and exactly how he needs her. And she will be there. So on that honeymoon, during that tantric connection, because even though she goes with him and they end it, there's still something lingering that just needs them to be fully intimate. That way he can release his ex. Does she get pregnant in that moment? No. Do you want her to? Yeah, big time, but you got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Within the first year, maybe? No, on the actual honeymoon? Yeah, big time. On their actual honeymoon, after their wedding, they're she's probably going to end up pregnant. They're going to schedule the whole thing around it. Because that's the first step. It's the first step. Bringing everybody together is that wedding. That's where people are going to be introduced. That's where friends are going to be brought in. Everybody's going to be flown out. It doesn't matter. They could be on the other side of the damn world and they will fly them in because these people are important. These, specifically, I'm being shown three individuals. I see the four, I see man beast. Yeah, soulmate friend with the, the, the sick beat, the flows. Yeah, you. Yeah, I see you there too off in the background hiding in the corner. Why? I see you sad with your head in your hands. Are you, are you feeling a little regret? Mm, why are you there then? Because you love her? Yeah. You'd much rather have her some way or at least not at all? Yeah. She's good for you? Yeah, big time. You still love her? Yeah, big time. Then what happened? You told her to have her happiness and she found it. Yeah, big time. You're a good friend. You have a good heart, man. But I see you there too, kind of hiding off in the background. I see another soulmate, a possibility of a child. Is this Divine Feminine's child? Yes. Parents, more friends. Divine Masculine, do you have anybody there? No. It's just everybody for her. There's no family, no friends, no, maybe, maybe, maybe a few, you know, whatever, just maybe a very important people on the groom side, but it's, it's me, I'm being shown like maybe 65 people, 45 to 65 people. It's, it's a very intimate wedding. I mean, that seems kind of big to me, but I, you know, that's just me. I'm a minimalist anyway. Um, but I just, oh, I see, oh, man beast here. Yeah. I see possibility of. Are those your girls? Yeah, I see two young girls, possibly his kids. I'm seeing the guardian angel. I'm seeing Mr. DJ, Mr. DJ's girl. I'm seeing mama bear, papa bear, I guess parents. Siblings? Are your siblings there? No. You want them to be there? Yes. Did you ask? No. Why? Family feud. Didn't understand. I see a table. This is beautiful. Sorry. We're still in Shark Week, folks. My emotions are still all over the place. I unfortunately have a fem feminine body in this life. Even though I hold a lot of masculine energy, I got to deal with it. So please excuse my crying here. But I see a table directly behind the bride and groom's table covered in beautiful pictures. I see one in the middle that holds a locket, possibly an urn not locket. Now, are you wearing that? Yes, but it's to whom it belongs to. I understand the necklace she wears on her wedding day is the urn locket of her father figure. And that picture is the biggest one on the table right behind her. And it's kind of weird. It kind of looks like a Harry Potter photo to where the face in that picture kind of goes like this and smiles and just mouths, she did it. I'm so proud. And it's like all of their ancestors and loved ones 
they brought them there and put them on that table and held them in a special moment for them and held them in high honor because those ancestors are who help these two guide them they help guide them together help them through it all and they're being held in high honor because of it this is beautiful y'all are very lucky people you really do deserve love you really do to go deserve to go on that retreat and have that tantric moment to where you guys connect and connect on such a, my whole body is i got goosebumps all over my body you guys the energy is surging through me like crazy you guys deserve this there it is there's that wedding it is a new love and it all starts once that first tantric it, it starts in the moment of the engagement it's twin flame union ignited activated all the things and the moment that tantric inter that tantric intimate moment happens that new love there's nothing coming between it nothing not even death she'll stay single and celibate until the moment she sees you again once you leave her if you leave her first and you need the only thing that matters right now is making the effort and showing yourself the same love you want to show your other person how you want to show the high priest is how you should be treating yourself high priestess high priest how you want to treat high priestess is how you should be treating yourself right now you need to make the effort to love yourself right now so you guys can go and get away from this red flags and that fucking psychotic ex that i see that needs to not be anywhere near y'all yeah that one she needs to go because um yeah she's she's with her influences with the drugs and possibly whatever is involved here is is causing some serious issues so make the effort and love yourself so that way you can get away from all of this get away from that ex and and go be with the one that's literally going to stop everything dead in its tracks the moment you kiss her for the first time if you guys haven't been if it hasn't happened already okay heal any of the deceptive nonsense that may have been caused because of the drugs and the bullshit okay let go of your control issues. She's going to make you submit, aren't you? Isn't she? Yeah, big fucking time. Is it going to make you uncomfortable? No, you look for it. You long for it. It makes you feel vulnerable. It brings out a side of you that you need to release. Is Are you repressing something too? Yeah, big fucking time. Too much vanilla nonsense. Oh. people need to let go of control issues and start getting to know each other better i'm talking about more on the soulmate friend side passion unrequited love true love the only unrequited love unrequ is it unrequited the unrequited love unrequited excuse me there's the only unrequited love is the, is the love of the person for the person with the heavy drugs and the addictions okay that it's that it's that crazy fucking karmic drama queen ex that needs to fucking be gone already i be gone before i drop a house on you okay like don't make me don my wicked witch of the west hat okay like i will put the hat on and remind y'all no, i'm just kidding i really just play one on tv i'm not a real witch i just like the hat it makes me look good yes yes you need to be gone with your unrequited love, your deception, your red flags, and your toxic fucking drama queen ass, and that fucking meth addiction you may have. I just keep seeing meth, meth, uh, 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 wah, 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 meth head, meth head, meth head alert, meth head alert, meth head alert, yeah. Run fucking in the opposite direction of this crackhead. With all the unrequited love, just looking for your, um, the paper to feed her fucking addictions. Yes, I have a nail appointment tomorrow. I done chipped my nail again. It's been three weeks. The holidays screw up threw everything off with my nail appointments yeah there needs to be like i was saying where was it didn't i just whatever getting to know each other y'all need to get to know each other i'm divine masculine be open-minded no you already are yeah big time once that x is released your mind will be completely open and there will no be longer be any shallow judgment because of who you are with. It will not be tolerated. Plus, it's who you are inside and you've only been repressing it because of the people you've been associated with, the drug addicts and the fucking whatevers. The whores. The drug addicts and the whores. Now, look, I'm going to say this because people 
do live polyamorous lifestyles, open relationship lifestyles. The thing is, they do it with an open mind and an open heart. They're not malicious about it. Okay? They're not. This karmic, I'm being told this karmic, oh yeah, big fucking time's got serious daddy issues, mommy issues, abandonment issues, all kinds of issues that make her fucking psychotic. Listen, karmic, drama queen, succubus, drug addict whore. I would like to highly suggest you get off the fucking, the drugs, okay? As somebody who has done heavy amounts of fucking narcotics in her life and has been sober almost 15 years, on January, I want to say 17th, it will be my 15 year mark. Okay. Because of how long I have been sober and because of what I've had to fight through to be able to stay sober, I've been able to handle healing my family issues. I'm 36. It's taken me a long fucking time and this has been going on since the moment I came into this world. Okay. And I'm finally able to heal my family issues. It's going to take you getting off of these drugs and get out of any whore type mentality that you may be in and stepping into that charm that you may have hidden under there and being shown the word Virgo, the sign of Virgo. Somebody may have the sign of Virgo in them, their chart somewhere, maybe in their moon. Okay. I'm being shown a moon sign could very well be in uh, Virgo. For this drama queen, this soulmate, this karmic, this pain in my ass that won't freaking leave the, this masculine alone. Yeah, her. You need to tap, do some research on your chart. Okay, I'm going to tell you as somebody, as somebody that has the mentality of an addict, I will always be an addict. I am just in recovery, okay? I will never touch the shit again. I couldn't. It would kill me and that my freaking sinus cavity is just fucked because of it. Okay. I'll just be real. I've never shot any drugs. I've always put them up my nose and it's destroyed my freaking sinuses. Okay. It's going to take a lot, a lot to get back into who you are. Those drugs, they fuck with your brain chemistry. Okay. It's going to take a long time. It probably is the reason why my memory is the way it is. My, I mean, you know, short term memory is just whatever. My long term memory though, if I commit it to long term memory, that's it. I'll know it forever. If it's that important to me, I'll remember it, okay? The thing is, is that you are going to have to, it's going to be a whole new life for you once you come clean. There's a lot of healing of relationships, possibly because of your drug addictions, because of what you did during these, dr these moments of inebriation that you're going to have to go back and fix, okay? I got out, it will be 15 years I've been out of the service this January. Actually, I'm sorry. I got out January 17th. Did I get out of January 17th of 2006 is when I got out of the service. One year, uh, two years later, on January 14th, I got out 2000. No, excuse me. January, excuse me, January 14th, 2006. One year later, I got divorced from the man I was married, my first husband, did all the things. And then one year later, so the beginning of 2008, I completely sobered up. I was completely clean, put myself into outpatient rehab. And then the work started from that moment, January 17th, January 14th, excuse me, of that year was the start of me healing my family issues. It's taken me 15 years to be where I am and because of everything that you're doing to people because of your drug abuse your you being whatever you are a succubus of some sort being a drama queen ruining relationships causing major freaking karma to, it's about to start boomeranging around you and if you don't get your mind right get yourself into rehab get yourself into therapy and seek help you are literally I'm gonna just can I just say it a little bit. You are literally within five to seven years. I'm being shown the, the number seven, possibly seven years after this breakup between you and the divine masculine happen and these people get married. You may very well end up in a position where you hurt somebody so seriously, you end up with life in jail. 
life in jail for what you're doing. While the divine masculine and the divine feminine go off and have a wedding, a beautiful honeymoon, become fucking famous. You're going to be in jail because of your of what you're doing. I would like to suggest, as somebody who made the choice to, to walk in the light, I would highly suggest getting help. Because the chemistry in your brain is going is fucked up from all the drugs and you are going to need some serious professional help to get it all balanced possibly with antidepressants anti-anxiety medication upwards of antipsychotic medications because of what's going to happen to you during this detox from how much drugs you've done you're going to need a therapist i have been in therapy for six five and a half years i will never not have a therapist on my side i would suggest everybody get one i call my therapist i call her my alfred because she is like the alfred to my batman she knows everything about me even down to my to visions that i have that nobody else is, knows about i even people in my close not even my mother not even my son's dad who's like a best friend and not even my own best friend knows about these visions except for my alfred i call her my alfred and i she didn't understand and i had to explain because she's not a batman person like me so i had to i had to educate her a little bit but she she found it hilarious and honestly honestly if i ever get to the point where i can hire her on as my personal therapist and have her just like tag me forever for the rest of my life until she retires i would pay her to be my personal therapist like i really would because this woman is amazing I've had two therapists in my life that have literally helped change me. These are guardian angels. These are angels God has put here to help us. People who sit and listen to our deepest, darkest fears, desires, thoughts, all of this, and we burden them with these things. Like, it takes a special kind of person. And you're going to need the Alfred to your Batman karmic drama queen because you're going to need somebody to help you walk through this and get you on the path to where you can go and walk with the light and keep your ass out of jail. the cards no shuffle again yeah it's gonna mess thank you spirit yeah karmic sea witch listen free yourself okay so you can get your brain chemistry and your body chemistry back on board so you're not fucking toxic to everybody around you and could possibly put somebody's life in danger get right with god and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations especially with your family you need to get to know your family on a new level you need to, you know, start working with your family to heal the things that need to be healed so that way you can find your true love. That's not going to be your unrequited love situation with a whole lot of fucking deception and red flags. Because this person is about to fucking release you with the big time and go off with their divine feminine and go have a honeymoon, have tantrics, love in, connect with them on a different level that they can never get with you, and it's going to fucking eat you alive. So instead of doing all of that, go and find yourself some help before you put somebody's life in jeopardy. Let your friends help you. Do you have romantic feelings for this person? No. Was there playfulness there? No, kind of. It was just more for the money and the status and the lifestyle and the luxuries and the pampering and all of the, the special attention making you feel like a princess and that's all you wanted from him yeah big fucking time she did you care about anything else no did you want his kids no did you want to have sex with him why yeah i'm sh he's shaking she's shaking her head yes why because of the money and the drinking and the money was mostly for the booze i just see her doing fucking lines big time lines and, and taking I, I see heroin and meth there was no playfulness there was no romantic feelings and you really need some fucking help because the thing is, is this female, did she let her friends help her? Yeah, oh yeah, that's that guardian angel. She let her friend help her. And that's why now the romantic feelings and the playfulness are going to her. Because you didn't feel that way about this masculine. And because of this female, he, it opened his eyes to who the fuck you were. Mm -hmm. And that's why all this is happening. And that's why this empire is being built. That's why people are going to be millionaires. That's why people... There's express your love and the separation. It's that, it's that romantic. Okay, give me a second. What is this? This one. You see how this, this right here, 
is going to be like this. Okay, I'm being shown a moment. Is this the first moment in their first interaction? Sexual interaction? Yeah. She's standing at a window looking out? Yes. He comes up behind her like this. Turns her around and starts doing like this. Dipping her down. And starting kissing her and dancing with her. Was there a separation before? Yeah, big time. Is there going to ever be a separation again? No, not even a little. They're at that moment when they start dancing and kissing and loving and hugging. Getting all those romantic feelings. All this. There will never, ever, ever be a doubt in his mind that there will ever be a moment that he will ever not be with her. And if it is, it's going to be so short it barely even affects him. No, it will affect him big time. But they're so tantrically connected that they'll feel like they're right next to each other. And because of that tantric connection, there's no wool going to be pulled over anybody's eyes because they'll know. Something feels off because they're empaths. They'll know. They'll be on the phone like, what you doing, bitch? Like, what you up to? Yeah, they'll know. So none of that... I mean, I literally see him just taking straps down off of a pretty dress, letting the dress fall at her feet, and she's in beautiful garments underneath, beautiful lace lingerie, just beautiful everything. And he's just caressing her, and it's very, 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 very elegant love. Like, it's just, there's nothing raunchy about it. It's just... It's, it got a lot of, he got a lot of class. You can tell he's got some, he's got some serious classy swag to him and he knows how he's a hopeless romantic and he knows exactly what to do. I see goose, he's giving her goosebumps and kissing her on the neck and doing all the things. I mean, it's, it's hot and steamy. Oh yeah. Was it ever like that with this karmic in the beginning? Nah, no, it was more like porn action like what you see in porn it's how they were fucking and it was because of ecstasy and cocaine booze heroin meth like they had the whole fucking table party favors all over the place like you want that we got a buffet of drugs right here in front of these fucking people like you got money like that damn okay can you get there it is Anything else from here? Bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's fucking attraction. Hell yeah. I mean, this man he can't can't keep his hands off her. Oh, he pushing. Is he pushing the cart at the grocery store? <laughs> he pushes it and he's happy dancing like woo yeah. And he, is she walking in front of him? Yeah yeah yeah. And he's licking his lips and he's looking at that booty and he just goes up behind her and whack. He walks on the side of her and he's his hands behind. Whack. And he smacks her ass and she turns around and mm, mm, mm. <laughs> being silly and he kind of goes he <laughs> like the playfulness is there like where's the playful card whatever there's playfulness we saw it there it is right here yep. that playfulness and that's what he's looking forward to seeing her skipping around being silly kind of childlike playfulness but sweet and innocent not being childish but being Sweet and innocent like a child playing and skipping along just happy. Happy in love. Always. Will there ever be any reason for her not to love him? No. Is he going to aggravate her? Yeah. Hey, kind of. Yeah, they, I mean, we're all human. We're all going to do stuff to irritate people, you know? What if she... You'll know when she starts getting grumpy what time it is. And then he busts out the Godiva chocolate and he's like... I have a present. <laughs> he, I guess he's good about tracking Shark Week. Yeah, big time. Flowers. I see diamonds and chocolate. Why are you, I, why are you showing me shoes and handbags? Are you going to do that too? Oh, yeah, big time. Big time. Pretty shoes, pretty bags. All the specials. Just anything he can do to make her feel like a princess. Does she want it? No. Does she like it? Yes. Does she ask for it? No. Why? Because you just do it and no. Yeah, he, she doesn't have to ask for anything because she is a woman that has everything and it just comes down to where her heart space is. It's not about the materialistic things. Those are nice and pretty and make her happy and feel special, but it's, it's about the tantric connections. Mm -hmm. The love, the 
the compa the compassion for each other, the dedication to each other's love and happiness, like they just are dedicated to each other and that there makes her feel like the luckiest woman in the world and all of the other things just add to the the throne that is her 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 throne and makes her feel like a real princess. On the she's an empress, an empress that she doesn't need nothing from nobody, but he makes her he brings out the princess in her. If you understand what I'm saying. And he just does it because he loves to see the sparkle in her eyes when she smiles and sees something that she wanted. She may have, she may have just mentioned it once and she, he saw the light, like her eyes light up when she was talking about it. And he knew in that moment it's exactly what she wanted and it was already bought on its way there. That's, that's what this masculine wants to do for her. All right, let's see what wants to go first. Oh, Lord. Thank goodness for the go-go goose. Time for healing? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do nice things for your friends? Yeah, big time. Trips and adventures and events and just different outings and parties at the house and just there's just all kinds of stuff. I see people just constantly together. Constantly. They don't want to ever not be together. They just all want to be together. They're like family. Do you two go out a lot? Oh yeah, big time. Are you going to take them with you? Oh yeah, big time. I see people going a huge... I mean, maybe these people... Are you going to go to Coachella? Divine Feminine Space to... Oh my god, Coachella. Are you going to bring her to Coachella? Yes. Why? Because you're performing there? Oh, Mr. DJ, you shaking your head like you excited. Yeah, big time. What about you? What are we going to call you, Madam Artiste? Okay, we'll call you Madam Artiste. You got six styles, sweetie. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you guys are going to drag her there. You're going to drag her to Burning Man. You're going to drag her to the Rainbow Gathering. You're going to drag her to every major festival, EDC. All the things are going to drag her. Why? Get her out of her shell? Yeah, big time. Why? She's got something against Coachella. Oh, because of the karmic sea witch. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. That's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that? Sensation? Isn't that in Vegas? Yeah, there's some things like that. Different kinds of burns, regional burns, local burns. Are you guys going to do your own version of it? Yeah, once a year. It's going to be a yearly thing, possibly during Christmas time. That's crazy. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you. Yeah, that goes towards the drama queen. We already saw that. How many from here? Spirit 11 from the bottom. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I need to eat some dinner. I'm hungry. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you. Divine masculine. Not that I'm gonna not that you're gonna ever want to, but in this moment I feel that you are contemplating going back after the engagement. We've seen this. Because you don't want to lose out because you think the baby's yours. Okay, we, we've seen this. The thing is, here's what can I make a suggestion? Just GG suggestion. When if you get engaged before this baby is born. What I would highly suggest doing is not planning the wedding. Even after she goes with you and you break up and all the things and you still want to wait. No, not at that point. No, just in this moment. Yes. Will you know by the time you get engaged? No and yes and no. It won't. It'll be right around the same time. Okay. The thing is is once this breakup happens, you can still wait. I would still suggest waiting to set a date until you know if the baby's yours or not. So that way your mind is at ease, everybody's mind is at ease, and that way things can go smoothly, okay? It's not gonna be very long afterwards that you guys are gonna have to wait. The thing is, are you gonna need time to plan the wedding? No. Is it going to be an easy, it's going to be easy because it's the money will be there. Everything will be there and it can just happen like that. It doesn't need a whole lot of anything. People, you know, you have the people in your corner that you need there to do exactly what you need when you need to do it. 
it's the relationships with the people that you know that make this so specifically special so the thing is is if you even think about this after no it's just not going to happen but because you haven't had that moment with this feminine and you haven't gotten engaged yet and she hasn't been in that car with you going and dealing with the sea witch that's why you're thinking about it but don't go back it's not worth it you're just going to be hurt again because of her she's just, she just wants you for your money so there's that suitcase of memories again that we keep seeing lingering around you okay hold on to those memories right now of your divine feminine specifically the one that reminds you of her eyes and keep that close by and remind yourself daily when you're thinking about going back to this person think about it think about that suitcase of memories okay because you are blessed and this union will bless you even further don't forget that no i didn't want to fall in love with you wicked beans by chris isaac with divine feminine you wanted to stay with the sea witch well, you did fall in love with her because she's your twin flame. And it's because with the help of that person right there that all of this is happening above all most high God. Don't forget most high. We can never, never, ever, ever forget the most high God that's blessing you. You are, you are about to receive a major divine blessing, a major divine blessing. And you will at that point realize that, yes, this is goodbye for good with that fucking karmic drama queen. And you will never have to stress and worry about the soulmate won this round. No, not even a fucking little. Oh, shit. Who are you? Who are you to the soul? Are you the soulmate to the divine feminine man beast? Are you the divine feminine soulmate? Yeah, big fucking time. Neither one of the soulmates are winning this time, spirit. Are they? No. No. But the thing is, is because of this man beast and his heart, he's going to be brought in and he's going to, his whole world's going to be changing because he freed her in a sense. She still loves, do you still love him? Do you have eyes for him like that? No, because of divine masculine. But because of this and because what she does for you, after the engagement you see that she will love you no matter what and she just wants your happiness and you're willing to give her your friendship because of it yes so th yes this particular soulmate wins this round over that one because of where his heart lays he just wants to see her happy and safe may very well be another a spiritual guardian for this woman did you protect her spiritually yes through prayer and meditation people are taking off their rose colored glasses and seeing people for who they are and, and now finally getting to say it's not my problem why should I make it my problem these are your things that you need to deal with and recognizing that their feelings do matter and the feelings of somebody that just wants to use them for drugs and, and money it, it, they, they need to worry about their failings and recognize that they do ma matter and none of this shit's no longer their problem and their nasty attitude is what set this person free and got them to open their eyes it may have to have happened in a way where it was literally like a falling tower like a dark night of the soul literally like a serious fucking ass beating like it this this particular energy is it needs tough serious a tough hand to make him see what he needs to see to take off those rose-colored glasses and it takes somebody being there just seeing the nasty attitude coming off of somebody in a specific moment when is that specific moment when she threatens you with the police okay he's at the door and she's threatening him with the police and he's on his knees begging please don't please don't please don't is she with you yeah he's kind of grinning evil grin on his face as he's got his head bowed begging he's got an evil grin and he hears the car door open and this feminine walking out, I just see one black Louboutin stepping out of this car. And I see a blue car stepping out of this car and standing up. And this man gets up, looks up with this evil grin. And he says, now you can't do a fucking thing. And he stands up and he says, I want you to meet my fiance, my future wife. The engagement happened. And she's got her phone out recording the whole fucking thing. Okay. 
And in that moment, because of her nasty attitude and the grin on his face, he's going to know he made the right fucking choice. For the first time in his damn life, he made the right fucking choice in the right freaking amount of time. And all that, all those rose-colored glasses will be gone. And in that moment, he's going to say, be gone out of my fucking house before somebody drops this house on your damn head in the court of law. Okay? You ain't fucking winning this round. If you had a more pure heart, we would have probably abundantly rewarded you, given you the house, given you all the things. I wouldn't be uh, pulling back my investments and being all of like that. And this is the way that karma is going to drop a house on this particular soulmate's head. While the other soulmate to the other to the other counterpart is going to be abundantly rewarded, brought into this empire because of where his heart lays. And this karmic will understand that it is now goodbye for good, and she will no longer have a fucking access to this masculine or anything around about him. And people aren't going to give any fucks if she's sitting there crying, <laughs> and nobody's going to care. Nobody. Mm -hmm. This and he's going to tell her this could have worked, but you just refuse to be honest. Your loss, not mine. You fucking being out on your ass is no longer my problem. You need to go. Who is this? Divine Feminine saying it to the both of them. Yes. Ooh, Divine Feminine. She pointed a fucking manicured finger at these two. I'm disappointed in the both of you. Why? You like living like this? Is this what you like? You like making him feel like this? And you like letting her fucking do this? in a sense are you into that sort of thing yes does she does the sea witch know no does she embarrass you about it yes does she make fun of you about it yes why just it, it's a, she thinks it's lame she takes advantage of it she manipulates and stabs him in the back because of it did you like this because of the rose colored glasses he was saying yes because of rose colored glasses and drugs and alcohol and the sex all had him entrapped and her fucking grasp. And now because he's released of it and that twin flame union was activated, yep, now he don't give no fucks. And it really is goodbye for good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that evil fucking grin on his face when he's on his knees with his head bowed, begging her not to call the police, knowing his babe is in the car with the phone out, watching the whole damn thing, probably got cameras on every aspect of that car. Like every fucking angle, there's probably fucking cameras. Okay. I see masculine, feminine sitting at a table in a nice restaurant, holding hands, talking. I see them. Are you praying? Yes. Eating, praying. And then what is it? Because of their love, all of that connection right there after the engagement, before they go and see this person, they're sitting down having a meal, talking, praying, enjoying meditation for the moment and whatever, because of what's being told in that moment, because of what they're doing. Communicating with spirit. Spirit's giving them downloads. Is he getting his first download? Yeah, big fucking time. Are you there holding his hand through it? Yes. And she's sitting there listening to what he's saying to her. She's taking notes. She's getting her own downloads. They're taking notes. And it's a whole fucking thing to plan out how it's going to happen. Because they, they, they no longer give a fuck about how she feels. They want to bring her down. Damn, man. Spirit's got your back, bro. Stay calm and peaceful, folks. Yep. This is something that's been on my mind all day. It's something that's gotten me through this day because it's been a rough day, you know? Stop, listen, absorb, then react. If you, it, It's an easy way to keep yourself from going overboard. If you stop and let listen, listen to what Spirit's guiding you to do during those intense moments, yeah. You will stay calm and peaceful and you'll keep yourself in your divinity and you'll be able to know exactly what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. And at that point, you will have your plan. You'll have a game plan. Spirit's not going to let you go into battle without a fucking plan, okay? And partic this particular situation... Ooh, energy surge. This particular situation is going to be like an actual battle and a war, okay? Because this is literally Divine Feminine's toes are, have hit the deck in hell, her fire breathing dragon doggy has transformed. Her battle sword is out. She ready to slay a bitch with her fucking man. And she ready. And with her slaying this bitch with her words and her divinity looking like a baddie. Yeah. She gonna put that fucking succubus on her knees. And she gonna slay her. Where's my divine feminine card? I need to find her. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, lady? I know you're in here. 
Where are you? The blue one. What's her name? Kali? I think it's Kali. Ha! There she be! That's what she's going to be looking like once she slays this bitch. She's going to slay this. She's going to put her on her knees and then take her fucking head. And she's going to she's gonna sacrifice this fucking demon back into hell. And she's going to take that fucking head and she's going to bring it to the feet of God and say, I did what you asked me to do. I slayed this demon. Now may I have my fairy tale. And she will be abundantly blessed. We're going to put you right here. Yep. I love that fucking card. That may be part of my... I may have to do something with that one. Because I, I may want to put that on my body somewhere. I love her. The mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. Abso freaking lootly. Be who you are. This is why you're going to be divinely blessed. This is why. Because you broke the mold of the ancestral curses. Don't worry about how other people see you. What matters, what means more are your thoughts of yourself and how God sees you. How many? Take them all. No, seven. One, two, three, four. Spirit. <laughs> Don't worry about how other people see you. What matters more are your feelings about yourself. I'm so over your games. It's time to go find a new th play thing. And that's going to the succubus. That's, see that see that broad right there where she, where Kali got her head in her hands? Yeah, that's her. You need to find a new play thingy. Maybe possibly going and uh, maybe getting into fitness, going and boxing, maybe going and learning something, maybe getting into Muay Thai or something. Learn how to channel that fucking anger and rage into something better, the, the need for the drugs. Channel it into something better. You want to learn how to dance? Go dance. I see you wanting to learn how to twerk it. They, they got twerk camps. You know what I'm saying? They got booty work, booty boot camps where you can go and learn how to do twerk fitness. You want to go learn how to do these things. Like I actually am developing something for when I go and get my yoga certification, which is my next project to actually do a dance flow yoga movement class. Like where I literally teach people how to flow in yoga positions to different kinds of music and turn it into a form of dance. So go learn something, go to school to learn a new hobby, go learn photography, go learn, learn about art, go do something, find a new play thingy, go find something to do something. I really believed you this time. Who's that? It's the it's the mask the male saying this to the succubus. I re really believed you this time. You lied too much. Is there people? Is there a masculine? Is there somebody she's sleeping with in the house with her while you when you walk up? Yeah, that's gonna be what the police involvement is. Is are you gonna go after him, masculine? No, divine feminine's gonna stop you put your ass in the car and put you down she's going to make you submit to her right then and there in front of everybody isn't she yes and no all she's going to have to look at, do is look at you once and you'll know exactly what to do and that's going to be stop listen absorb and then react and it's just going to be like her putting her hand up and saying stop and at that point you call the police mm -hmm. because she's cheating on you in your own fucking house maybe you can keep your diamonds and you can burn all your fancy things the only thing I want back is that engagement ring keep everything else the house I'll come after the house in court all the other shit I gave you you can have keep it I don't want it I don't care I did it to take care of you those were things for you because I care about you but that's it that's it and this bitch is going to be shook for fucking real like on her knees crying with her head, head in her, her face in her hands sobbing damn divine feminine you sit down and try to hug, hold her and help her you really must be an earth angel because I, wow. I see her sitting down on the porch with this girl it's next to her. She puts her arm around her and pulls her in for a hug. She fights her a little bit, but she holds on to her and she just lets her cry. I'm sorry this happened to you, but there are life lessons that need to be learned. It feels like the world has grown cold now that you've gone away, gone away by the offspring. What's gonna, what is that about? It's because you're losing everything, isn't it? Did you care about losing Divine Masculine? No, just the money. It's because of the man in the house, huh? Is he the one you want? Yes. Does he have any money? No, not even. Does he take care of the bills? No, not really. It's mostly you. Yes. But you love him anyway. Yes. 
and what you were doing with Divine Masculine supported y'all's lifestyle? Yes. Is he going to leave you too? Yes. Is the baby his? Yes. He's going to take both your kids, isn't he? Yes. Well, that's why Divine Feminine's holding you and cuddling you and trying to hold you and nurture you because she is like Mother Earth, the mother of the universe, and she wants to heal you. She wants to help you. Does she offer to help her? Yeah, big time. Does she take it? No. Is she considering it? No. Is she going to let her hug on her? Maybe for a second and then she'll push her away and say it's because of you. It's because of you. No, it's not because of the divine feminine. It's because of the actions in which you took. It's because of the actions in which you took that put you in this particular situation. So don't blame it on the Divine Feminine who's sitting there trying to comfort you and be a friend. Keep your blinders on and keep driving forward. Your games made you look like an actual fool. Yeah, it did. Now it's time that maybe you should let this person help you. Because she's about to help Divine Masculine. And if you want to be coming out on the side of the winning like this other soulmate, maybe it's time that you let Divine Feminine help you. She wants to. It looks like she wants to help you. But... If you don't, you're going to look like even more of a fool with the possibility of spending life in prison for doing something psychotic. Is there anything more in here? I'm going to just do one more shuffle. One more full shuffle. Oops. I should have sang you love songs. Should have sang you love songs. I came and saw for you for who you really are, and now all my worst fears are who you really are. I'm gone for good this time by. That's that's Divine Masculine saying it to her because he's going to see after when he's on his knees smiling, realizing what that everything Divine Feminine told him was true. He realizes in that moment it should have been her, Divine Feminine he was singing love songs to and he knows now in that moment that she will never, never leave him. And he's going to be gone for, he saw what he needed to see and now he's gone for good. And he's going to say, well, that's a lesson I never want to learn again. Because this bitch is going to, he was knocked down to size, and now this bitch is going to get knocked down to size right on her knees. And then they're, everybody's going to be breathing a fresh of air, a breath of fresh air as the police car goes away with this woman. Yep. Because of everything they got online, or on, not online, but on the device. Yep. And everybody's going to breathe breaths, breaths of fresh air. Now, what about her, the, the person that she's pregnant by? Are you going to be okay, dude? No, emotionally exhausted, mentally exhausted. Now going to have to deal with two kids on his own. Wow. Are you going to be a part of the Divine Feminine's crew? No. Are you going to be financially helping him? No. He's going to have to learn on his own for what he was doing because he knew about the whole thing. Yeah, he was a part of it. See, the thing is, is if he didn't know anything about Divine Masculine then maybe they would have helped him because of the situation, but because he was a part of it and he had his hand out and hand in his, and, and his hand was in divine masculine's pocket too, in a sense. And in the, on, did you know about him? No, not in the sense that sh you should have. Yeah. Did you know about him at all? Yes and no, because of, I guess the child. Yes and no. Well, on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's time for a level up. It's gonna, There's going to be a level up. There's going to be a big level up. I mean, literally to the point where these people have to have private security. Okay? And all I just see is Mr. DJ just getting down. Yep. Wow. Shit's fucking crazy now. Never in my life did I... I'm going to just say something here in this moment, guys, because I just, I need to, as a quick little input, I never thought in my 36 years of life would I ever, excuse my acne, I have my period right now, and it's all the hormones, and excuse me, excuse me, the grossness. Anyway, um, I never thought in my life that I would literally be sitting at a table doing this, seeing the shit I'm seeing in my head, picking up on energies like this. I never thought I'd literally be giving these messages in prediction of somebody's future to this extent never never in my life mm -mm. never always been fascinated since i was 16 always loved tarot just never gave it any which thought until my awakening well actually back in february of this year when i picked up my old cards again 
never in my lifetime did I think that this was going to happen for me. Never. So if you guys are in this situation and any of this is resonating, don't doubt yourself. Anything is possible with God on your side, okay? So if you have something special about you, just put it out there. Don't let anybody's judgment stop you, you know? Don't. People tell me to stop singing. I would never fucking stop singing for anybody. And I might not be giving it my all because I don't want to blow nobody's eardrums out. But still, like, I know what I'm capable of. You know, I've been singing my whole life. I would never tell... Nobody would ever be able to tell me to stop for any fucking reason. So if there's something about you that's specifically unique and extraordinary, don't. You know, this particular gift that I'm being given, not everybody has. Not everybody can see like I can see. I don't know if there's anybody quite like me. I'm, I'm unique for a reason. We're all, all of us are unique for a reason. And I really feel like because of people's external validation, it holds them back way too far. And it's specifically this particular karmic sea witch. What would, did she, was she put here for anything other than what she's doing now, spirit? I'm being shown yes and no. But the majority of what I'm being shown energetically is no, this was her main purpose. But the thing is, is it should be able to teach her. The thing is, is if she doesn't let Divine Feminine help her, she's going to do something really fucking crazy. And it could very well affect that particular person. It's not going to harm him to death, but it's going to harm him enough to where people are going to want to kill her. I mean, I legitimately see a man beast holding back this Divine Feminine from going fucking ape shit crazy. Spirit, thank you. Till death do you part. You have very special musical talent and it's time you use it. Mm -hmm. What was I saying about Mr. DJ and Miss Freaking Divine Feminine and Mr. I Can Man Beast with the sick flows? Like, I told y'all, I told y'all I can't make this shit up. It's time to be loved and to love and be loved. And I really want to trust you. That's the divine counterpart saying it to each other because we got trust issues. But the thing is, is this here is going from divine feminine to this sea witch. Listen. Listen up, sea witch. I, the only thing you need to know is I do not hate you. I love every soul in this, on this planet and in this universe. That includes you. Excuse me confirmation excuse me this woman you that you put through hell see which energetically in the 3d whatever is literally going to sit down next to you and put her arm around you and offer her help to you to save your life from the drugs and a, a very dark path that is why this person is the divine feminine not you this is one of the main reasons is because she can has unconditional love for humanity and wants to see the good in every single body. She may offer her hand in friendship to you. Okay. Offer to help take care of you when you go through detox or help you with whatever you need to help, you know, with maybe if you are pregnant, maybe help you get the house ready offer suggestions she you know she, did she have a kid yes you know she probably has kids may be able to offer some assistance may offer to you know bring you in as a friend and, and let you be a part of life like all the things open up her home and let you come in and hang out and you know if they're on a ranch which i've seen for these particular energies before maybe let you and your family come out and enjoy the animals and the the property and all of the the luxuries of being in the being a part of it, you know, and if you let her in that moment, you may very well be able to have a divine blessing right along with them. But if you choose to stay in this succubus, see which karmic drama queen mentality, she just going to fucking slay you just like that and bring you down, right? Bring you right back down to size where you belong. So you may want to accept the love that she gives you because she is a divine feminine. A whole lot of love to give. So you may want to just take it as a suggestion. Okay. That's your life. Do what you want. I don't really care, to be honest with you. It's your choice. Because I just don't like your energy. She's a much bigger person than I. Because in this moment, how I feel and what I'm seeing, I would just, I'd just call the police and walk away. 
Anything else, spirit? I want to cut this deck in half. It's getting a little too much for my hands. Moonchild, ruled by, ruled by his or her emotions. Oh, the sea witch. Yeah, big freaking time. I just see Virgo again. Well, don't let it rule, rule you too much. Pay attention. Go do some astrology. Learn about your moon sign. Figure it out. Study. I'll show you a book that I recommend. Where is it? This is a beautiful book. I have another one. Where are you? Oh, that's fine. This one. This I keep by me for when I do personal readings and specific information. It breaks it down. I, I open right to mine. You see, it breaks it down. It shows you all the different things. It shows you everything. It's a great book. It's got both uh, American uh, standard horoscopes, excuse me, standard zodiac, and it also has Chinese horoscopes in it too. So astrology. So I would highly suggest this particular book. It's one I recommend. I use it every day or on a regular basis. I would highly recommend it. If you are ruled by your emotions, if your emotions rule you, I would highly suggest getting a full birth natal chart done for you, okay, and start studying your astrology. You may not see it now, but you really are getting your wish come true. Is this soulmate? No, not even a little. Nope, she's going to get karma and really big life lessons learned. That one's going to Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Spirit? Yes. Okay. Please don't take my whole life away because of jealous feelings and envy. Is that the Guardian Angel? Yeah, big fucking time. Don't come after people, okay? Because the person you want to hurt isn't the person that's going to get hurt, okay? And people don't want to lose their lives because of somebody's feelings, uh, jealous feelings and envy, because they're not getting their wants and their needs or, or your needs being met. Yeah, God will always provide every, you know, what you need. What you want, you have to earn, okay? And because you broke somebody's trust and let your emotions get the best of you because you thought you were going to be spoiled till death do you part because maybe, uh, are you, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, they're engaged. You thought because this person was calling you princess and saying, yeah, we'll be together forever. You thought that, that you were going to be entitled to all this shit for life. Yeah, no, mm, -mm. You weren't love. You it was in your mind. It was not time to love and be loved. It was time for you to make money and be a whore. So because of that, you now have jealous feelings and envy because divine feminine is getting everything you thought you were entitled to and expected, and you're willing to go ahead and possibly hurt, do something to hurt somebody, and in return, because of you know who they are, they premeditated this whole thing, and somebody else's life gets put in, into the jeopardy of it because of you. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be divinely blessed. Please, take it all, just release me. Has he said this to her before? Should you have? He's shaking his head. No, he hasn't. Should you have? Yes and no. You needed to go through this and you know this now, huh? Yeah. Okay. He's kind of glad he didn't tell her to take it all and release him because then it would have been a whole lot of world of ugly. Yeah. It'd have been a whole lot of good, bad, and ugly for him. He would have gotten the divine feminine either way. Yes, but there would have been a whole lot of ugly and bad because of it why you wouldn't have had the money you have now yes what was i saying about picking up a new hobby yep yeah karmic i think it's time for you to go to school go back to school go back to school do you want to do something with your life no do you have a business or something already yeah kind of is it what you want to do does it, no does it make you the money you want eh, what do you want to do do you want to have the night you want to be a part of the nightlife you want to be a part of the club scene you want to just party and have fun well you got responsibilities it looks like you got some kids your spirit guide saved you for your uh, your life for your divine counterpart who is that oh divine masculine saved you from what getting into a major car accident yes why is that What is this? Somebody's in anger and rage. I see somebody raging behind the wheel of a car. And getting hit by a big ass fucking truck. Is that what would have happened if he wasn't with Divine Feminine? Oh God, yes. Yes, that's part of one of the things that would have happened. Would he be drunk? 
Yes. Would it be on his way back? Would he? Okay, what is this? To the sea witch, away from the sea witch. Yes. He would have got. So this is what I'm seeing. If he, this is part of it. That if he doesn't take divine feminine with him. Yes, spirit's giving me what would happen if divine masculine after the engagement does not take divine feminine. He's going to go. She's going to rip him to shreds. He's going to be on his knees. And instead of smiling, he's going to have his head on the ground, bowing and crying and sobbing and just say, take it all, take it all, just release me. Is that where this comes in spirit? Yes. Okay. And then what happens? He gets back in the car. Does she let you have the car? Does she trade you cars? Yeah, kind of. She gives you hers and you give her, it was like a swap of some sort. Or he takes, whatever, he's in a car. He goes and he gets drunk and he gets behind the wheel. Are you going after Divine Feminine? Yes, why? Because she predicted it and told him what was going to happen. He either gets, in, he gets into an accident. He was drunk driving. And the reason his life was saved is why? Because he had more to learn. And because he's going to have to learn the lesson that's going to happen when he calls Divine Feminine to tell her what happened. He's going to need the ego death that's going to come with hearing her hang up on him after she he tells her what happens. And that engagement is ended at that point. And he has to serve 18 to 24 months in jail while she goes to the, soul, the high level soulmate that's going to be a part of her life one way or another. Do they end up together at that point? Yes, big fucking time. And at that point... Not only, he's going to win both ways. Either which way, he's either going to win with her and be be the in her life having this empire anyway. Because there's going to be an investment you make in her one way or another. And that money's going to go to get her to him. That's going to lock in their union. And this empire is going to start at that point with them. And this masculine's not going to have any kind of anything to do with it outside of just handing her the money that started the whole fucking thing. So one way or another, this soulmate's going to be in her life. He's going to be abundantly rewarded because of his connection with her and what he did for her. And at that point, will the guardian angel ever have to worry about this soulmate again? And ever have to worry about ha having to be in that position in that seven year mark? No. Thank you for the for teaching me lessons I never thought I would have to learn and you're all I see when I close my eyes. It's that soulmate. It's Divine Feminine Soulmate. She's saying this. Thank you for teaching me the lessons I never thought I would have to learn. And you're all I see when I close my eyes. She, in this, are they, okay. She really loves him. She only has, I, it, up until the moment they get engaged, she will only have eyes for this particular soulmate. She trusts him. She loves him. She's drawn to him. They have a tight connection, a very tight connection. A very tight connection and it's gonna one way or another he's gonna be in her life whether just as a business partner or a business partner and her lover and it, one way or another this divine feminine is gonna be blessed you are in the middle of a dark night of the soul who and being sown both both soulmates just the, just divine feminines yes in a sense and divine masculine yeah big fucking time with divine masculine big fucking time with divine masculine you guys may just end up being really good friends yeah soulmate and divine masculine yeah big fucking time big time is it gonna take some time no why oh shit you're giving me something else she's gonna show up at your door isn't she one way or another huh yep with an envelope and an offer if he's with her, if Divine Masculine's with her, there's going to be a job offer and an opportunity that's given, a sum of money that'll help him get to where he needs to go, and an offer that he's going to take. No, not in that moment. No, it's, are you going to refuse the money to? No, what are you going to do? You're going to... He's going to be humbled to his knees, huh? I'm sorry I did this to you. How did this happen? What, it's going to be a whole thing. If he's not with her, what's going to happen? She's going to be presented with two options. Do you love me or do you love me not? Because I love you and I will always love you unconditionally. 
And depending either which way, she's going to hand him an envelope. There's also another item that's going to be with her this time. Is it with her always? Yes. But this time it's going to be in her hand. And depending on what he says when she asks him, do you love me or do you love me not? He will either get one or both of those objects. If he says, no, I don't, he will receive both of those objects. She'll look at him. She'll look into his eyes. She'll kiss him on the cheek and she'll walk away. And if he does say, I love you, she'll hand him the envelope. He'll grab her and he will hold her and bring her inside with him. And that's the end of it. And if he does, if masculine's with him, are you going to be friends in that moment? Yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of crying. There's going to be a whole lot of hugging. And then you guys, masculine and this, this female soulmate, you guys are going to end up being very best friends. And you guys are going to be a part of all of that right along with this guardian angel. Because don't forget about him. He's huge. He's a huge part of this whole thing. And the, everybody's going to go to heaven. This whole situation is going to take them to heaven on earth because they're just going to have abundance after abundance and all the people that are doing people wrong are going to get cut down by God. And uh, because they've had too many chances and people are done and they just want to have their happiness. And people are going to be like, wow, did this really happen? Yes. Because they're going to, when this shit changes their life, they're going to be like, did this really fucking happen? Divine feminine, did you really do this? Did this really happen? Yeah, people are going to be shook, man, for fucking real. Shook for fucking real, man. Anything else, spirit? Thank you. Go to rehab before your addictions take your life. That's for that karmic drama queen, man. And divine masculine. He's going to get his shit in a pile one way or another, whether it be with divine feminine or in jail. Keep God in your heart, guys, always. Please and thank you. I'm leaving now and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's going to be what happens after sh these two walk up to that door. If divine feminine is with him, they're going to go up, handle business, and they're going to leave. And there's nothing this person can do about it. And if he's alone, either which way, she's going to be like, you're leaving now, and there's nothing you can do about it. You need to go. Because if you don't, I'm going to call the cops and ruin your fucking life. Um, who's taking their sweet-ass time? And the people... Divine Masculine? Yeah. He's trying to figure out how to end it peacefully with his karmic, huh? Yes. And he's going to tell her, uh, his divine feminine, thank you for waiting for me. Yes. Is she waiting? Uh, not intentionally. Or at least not without, like, like, not, yeah, not intentionally. Be grateful for your inner knowing. Imagine going through this life without knowing it. Yeah. <laughs> I know life before my awakening, and now I know life after my awakening, and I never want to not have my gifts again. Never. Mm -hmm. So if you got inner knowing and inner, get, inner, inner abilities, don't take them for granted. Be grateful for them, because they're going to guide you in this life. As long as you, you, you stand with the light. Mm -hmm. All right, last shuffle. We're going to pull. We're already sitting at two hours and 17 minutes. It's a long-ass fucking reading tonight, man. But it's a good one. someone is a liar no one should ever trust them again divine masculine and this karmic soulmate all these things had to happen to get you where you need to be to have your happily ever after folks anything further spirit Thank you. When the voice of the Holy Father speak, you better get be at attention and ready to listen. Yeah, where did that eat, pray, love card go? Whatever. Maybe it was in the other deck. Anyway, um, that's that. When, when they're getting ready, when they're sitting down to eat before they go and talk to the sea witch, the Holy Father will speak and they will be at attention, manned and ready with notes to be able to go and handle business. Because he's going to give him every... Ooh. The sea witch is casting spills on your... Per yeah, we, we already know that. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation, though. I have an important secret I need to tell you. Will you please listen? It's sacred information that's going to be given. Before or, during, before or after the tantric connection? Is it after? Yes and no. Some of it's going to come out. What needs to come out in that, like when they're sitting down talking and eating and making a plan on what they're going to do to go confront the sea witch, there's going to be some secret knowledge given and shared. But once that tant that first tantric sexual union happens, is she going to show it to all of it? Yes, most of it. 
something she's not going to have with her to show him, but what she has with him, she's going to show him. And she's going to tell him all the secrets. Your true love is on a journey to make them the person they need to be to love you exactly right. Just have patience. All things will happen in divine timing. That is, that's, so spirit is asking divine feminine to do what she's doing right now because she wants her happily ever after and she's doing exactly what spirit's doing. So even though she's not uh, intentionally waiting for divine masculine, she's waiting for divine timing and all of that just revolves around spirit. Okay, because this person needs to learn these life lessons to love, be able to love this person hell yeah, and let it all go. Let this fucking karmic go. Let all the toxicity go, all those red flags and just let it, let it go. Like Elsa says, let it go. Mm -hmm. Break free. Who do you want to wish, stop thinking about? You want Divine Feminine to stop thinking about the soulmate. She can't though, can she? No. Take what you get or you can leave. Who is this? This is the sweet sea witch saying this to a very submissive uh, divine masculine. This is how I want it. I know what you did. This is how I want it. And if you don't give it to me, you can, t you can take what you can get, what I'm giving you, or you can leave. Either you can take my freaking, what I will, you can take what I'm giving you, and that's my demands. Or I'm going to call the police and lie about the whole fucking thing. So you can take what you get and leave. Or I'm going to call the police kind of deal. Yeah, I just, that's, that's, she's evil. He's, when that, you remember I was telling you that if Divine Feminine's with him, he's going to have an evil grin on his face when he's on his knees and she's threatening him with the police. Yep. He's going to have an evil grin on his face. But if he's, she's not with him, that evil grin is going to switch onto the face of that female and she's going to have him right where she fucking wants him. And either she's going to call the police on him or he's going to get in trouble for drunk driving and causing an accident. Possibly damn near fucking killing himself because of it too. How many do you want? Oh, damn. Okay, so we're going to take you how many more from the bottom? One, two, three, and then five from the top. No, just from the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then that's the eight. Okay. Divine masculine, you're being watched by your ancestors and they're not happy. You're not following the right path and they're about to step it. Yep. That's going to be that, that, uh, you know, once you get engaged and if you decide to not go and do what you need to do with divine feminine, that's going to be what they step in. And that's going to be a part of it. You can't be stopped. Keep pushing forward. You got this divine masculine, whether you believe it or not, you're on the right path. Both you and the sea witch, sea witch need to go in and, uh, fast and detox because right now the only thing that matters is kindness and the kindness that I'm seeing divine feminine give to this karmic sea witch is exactly that a random act of kindness even though this woman probably can't stand the girl she's trying to hug up on no that's not the case you feel bad huh yeah my there's flutters in my stomach because of that she feels bad because she has a kind heart i'm not as bad as you think who is that the sea witch then what is it pregnancy hormones entitlement selfishness all of those things she's really it's it's a lot more and it's all coming out at once because it's like an overload like tower after tower after tower and then literally like an ego fucking death of seeing this woman looking like a bad ass looking sexy as fuck walking out of that car not realizing there was somebody with him speaking down to this man spitting spewing freaking venom at him and he's like you have no idea what you're doing, do you? In his mind, he's like, this bitch really has no fucking idea who's about to walk out that car. And the second that car door opens, she's humbled. And in that moment, she's not gonna, she's as bad as she as everybody thinks. She's that nightmare. She's either going to lunge at this person or submit and show her belly. And the thing is, is if she doesn't, no matter how much she says this about herself, it's not going to matter. And I'm, I'm going to say this like this. Is Divine Feminine in this... In, is she, are you still in separation? Yes. Does Divine Feminine think you're a bad person, Divine Masculine? No, she knows it's the booze and the drugs. But the thing is, is she needs to be in your presence while you're sober to be able to realize how you really are. Divine Masculine, you already know this female is up to no good. I've been. Are you, have you caught her cheating in the act before? Yeah, a few times. Whichever of you that strays from the light first will be the one that loses it all. Listen to what God is trying to tell you. 
See, that, that comes down to this. Uh, this is all boiling down to the engagement between divine masculine and divine feminine. If you stray from that twin flame journey activated, one, you're not going to go, you're not going to have no sexual bases. None. And she's going to, when you guys are alone after the engagement and she presents you with the offer of, I'm coming with you to face this or you're going to let me go and you're going to face it alone, depending on what you do, if you stray from that divine, that the twin flame union and go to confront the situation on your own, you will lose it all. And it comes down to either being uh, in prison uh, because of drunk driving or because of her lying and possibly, you know, you poss if you get behind the wheel drinking and driving with ven vengeance in your heart, you're going to end up hurting somebody or yourself really bad. And not only will you be in the hospital, but you're also going to be in jail. So pay attention to what God's telling you before you are, uh, somebody exits your life on the stage left and says bye for the last time. And it may not be the one you want it to be. Because if you really want Sea Witch, go be with Sea Witch. If you really want Divine Feminine, go be with Divine Feminine. Stand true to the freaking journey. Stand true to the union. And uh, don't stray or you'll lose everything. Because your karmic is sending this Divine Feminine black magic because she's jealous and envious even now. Before the freaking whole situation happens. Time's fluid. Take it how it is for you. Okay? Is there anything else? No, I can leave it here. Let me get one more good shuffle spirit. I know my worth. This magic stuff is for real. Like, for real, for real. Yes, it is. I'm almost done, baby. Right there. And Divine Masculine, this is your last warning. This is your last warning. Because remember, what goes around comes around. And if you try to manipulate and deceive a Divine Feminine, that that's being warned. Okay? You're watching these readings. We know. You're being warned. You've been warned now multiple times. And now, two and a half hours in, you know. You know now the options that are set in front of you by the Most High, you have a choice. You have a choice. So I would highly suggest taking your time and thinking about your options, making sure you do what is right for you and not because you want to just save your own ass, okay? Make sure you're doing everything with positive intentions because remember, as I just said, the only thing that matters in life, kindness in the end, only kindness matters, not how much you have in, in your pocket, not what you did for people outside, like materialistic things. It's the kindness. It's the loving gestures. It's the want to help people. It's the, the, it's all the good things. I'm going to leave you there because I want to, I want to do something with that. I'm going to copy that. I want to do something with that picture. I really want to tattoo her on my body. I really love that divine feminine card. I want to do something with that. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up. Is there any other messages, Spirit? No. The only thing Spirit wants to say is just be prepared to have the life you've always wanted. With the money that you've always wanted. To never have to financially stress about money again. To have your every want and desire. Have all your needs met first. And then have after that, you'll have all your wants and desires. You'll be able to help your family out. You'll be able to take care of your family. People, family, uh, you know, family parents might be able to retire early and go and enjoy their life and be a part of the whole thing. Like, you know, friends are going to be compensated and well cared for. You know, people that are look like family. Everybody's just going to be happy and healthy and fulfilled. Happy, healthy, and feeling fulfilled. And to me, what better things in life could you have? You know, all the materialistic things are great. All the materialistic things are great. But having a friend, like that that's that guardian angel soulmate friend, that, that really hits me hard. To, to know that there are people out there that love their friends and family so much that they would be willing to lay their life on the line for them. Possibly take a bullet for them. That's, that's, that speaks volumes about people's character, you know, and more people, in my humble opinion, I feel like more people should be like that, less selfishness, less ego, less entitlement, less narcissism, and more love, make, I know I sound like a total hippie right now, but make love, not war, mm-hmm, yep, because love really is the essence of everything, so is family. People ask, what's the purpose of life? What's the meaning of life? And every time I look at my son, I know. Special moments with my kid. Special moments with people that I love. Interactions. You know, kindness. 
showing gratitude and love for people, doing random acts of kindness just because you want to help people. That, to me, is the meaning of life. So, I hope this you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels and ancestors and loved ones that have come through to help me with this reading. Thank you, energies, for coming through and allowing me to channel you. I love and appreciate you all. I close this reading at two and a half hours. Holy shit. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. This one's for the books, man. This episode of this novella is a good one. They all are. They're all good. But this one here has a spec. This one hits me a little bit differently. It's um, it's that it's that guardian angel. It's that guardian. There's something about his energy. Like I want to meet this person. I want to know this person. You know. Like some of this resonates with me. And spirit's not really letting me see too much. I'm just seeing as the energies of like people's physical forms and the color of their energies. This particular guardian angel just radiates white light. The purest white light. Like this, even now, it's, a, it's got a little gray hue to it. But the, the thing is, is once that uh, spiritual awakening happens for him, there's just that one spiritual experience he needs to have after he has gets rid of whatever toxic energies around him and the moment that happens the whole his whole life is going to change so just it's a beautiful reading guys thank you for listening to me thank you for being here and subscribing to the channel all the things please like and share just know gg loves you guys very much from the bottom of my heart and soul until next night light love and blessings good night for now